anointed holy eagles come forth. This is an eagle's call. Baby eagles come forth. Attention all Hindus and Buddhists and all other religions. The God of creation calls you to listen to this prophecy. We stand together or fall together. All our religious freedoms are at risk. We worship a different God, but in this area of religious freedom, when one is taken, all will be taken. Anointed holy eagles arise. Come forth in Yeshua's name. Fight against the attacks of the unholy vultures. Anointed holy eagles of mine, I have hidden you safely away from this world's eyes, away from the church systems. I have hidden you and taught you how to fly and soar for such a time as this. You have been out of the nest and are no longer baby eagles, but you are mature spiritually, discerning with the eyes of the eagle, and you know my voice. Those reading this that are still baby eagles, don't worry. The more spiritually mature, anointed holy eagles shall nourish you and protect you, even teach you how to war in the spiritual realm, in a higher realm than you have soared before. Anointed holy eagles, be warned. The unholy vultures are gathering against you and are going to try to devour you as prey. But you will not become prey if you will seek my face and humble yourself and pray for my instructions and soar higher when I tell you to soar and dive bomb the enemy when I tell you to to dive, they will be the prey in my holy name, Yeshua HaMashiach, anointed holy eagles of mine, I have hidden and taught you for such a time like this, seek my face in a new way, believe that you heard my voice in the wilderness, for I have called you, and you have known what to do when the time would come. Anointed holy eagles, I have given you the keen eyesight of an eagle. You can discern your enemy and pray from afar off. I have given you sharp razor talons that carry my double-edged sword. Use it for my glory. Think nothing is impossible when you call upon my name, Yeshua. What was impossible before will not be anymore. If you can just believe with your own eyes, you shall see the unholy vultures gather against you and seek to take the necessity necessities of life away from you. Water, food, heat, shelter, finances, electricity, gasoline, oil, clothes, communications. The unholy vultures seek to take your religious freedoms away from you. They look at you and mock the gods you serve. Anointed holy eagles, they seek to destroy your nest that I so lovingly built with my own hands. They seek to devour your young. The unholy vultures now devour your young, and you've stood by and watched as you've lost more freedom each year, and your children are taught that which I have not taught them. Not all knowledge is profitable for the young. Your young children are being force-fed filth that has polluted their minds, bodies, spirits, and yes, souls. My anointed holy eagles have said, What am I to do, for it is out of my control? You have called to me, the father eagle, and I say to you, Take back what the enemy has stolen. Take back the unholy vultures have stolen and are stealing. I have given you the foresight how to do this. You have said it is too hard. Is it not hard to watch your children be led to hell? You have lost your right to discipline your children, and you have stood by as the states dictate how to raise your children and what morality to give them. Is it any wonder the younger generation is now in rebellion? Did I not forewarn you this would happen through my apostles and prophets? Did I not forewarn you this would happen through my holy word? Why do you not fight the unholy vultures? Is it because you think they will outnumber you? Anointed holy eagles, you must gather and fast and pray for this world. The unholy vultures seek not one religion as prey. The unholy vultures seek not one nation or country or province. The unholy vultures that gather against you seek to corrupt and control the entire world. There is no religion that believes in a God that the unholy vultures will not seek to devour as prey. It is not only my children that the unholy Holy vultures seek to devour, but warn those that do not worship I, Yahweh, Yushu, and the Ruach HaKadosh. The unholy vultures will also seek to devour and shall devour the Buddhist, Hindus, among other religions, although they do not submit to my authority as they lose their religious freedom, so shall you if you don't gather together now and fight the unholy vultures that gather together against you all. When one loses their religious freedoms, you all lose it. All will lose their freedom to worship. 
Now will you care for one another? You have the gold and silver to create idols. Use it to fight the unholy vultures. The idols can't speak or war, but those that oppress you will speak and war against you. Use what means I have given you, not only spiritually, but legally and financially. Satan seeks to go ahead of my timing. Satan seeks to destroy before the time I have set. I will allow this if you do not gather together and pray that you will not become food for the unholy vultures. Do not let let race, creed, tongue, or religious belief stop you from fighting this beast that comes in the form of an unholy vulture, but it is a beast of great proportion, for it is like a fatted beast, and it has been eating little by little at your freedoms in all ways until the word freedom no longer speaks of freedom, but is bondage in disguise. The unholy vultures come in this form to mock my Ruach Kadesh, which came in the form of a dove. The unholy vultures even poison the air that you breathe and will mark you in ways you least expect, setting you apart from others, for they know who are my holy anointed eagles and who are the young to the unholy vultures. Beware, your very blood will betray you and will be forced to cry out and identify who you are. No race or nationality will be kept secret once the blood is forced to cry out. Be cautious of all surgical procedures, for your own body will cry out and betray you. Learn of my natural medicines and seek the hidden anointed holy eagles I have trained and nurtured and raised for such a time as this. Scoff not at their wisdom, for it is I, Yahweh, who has taught them how to save your lives when you can no longer go to the physicians, for they will not be part of the holy eagles anymore, but will belong to the unholy vultures so they can practice medicine. It will be rare when the doctors will not do what the unholy vultures command them to do. You have been warned, beware of any type of injections, for the unholy vultures have plans to use this as a weapon against you and your young eagles. Do not be dismayed, and have faith when I tell you to soar as the eagle soars and fly to somewhere. Do not question me, just move when I say move. Can an eagle stand still in the sky? No, neither can you. All my anointed holy eagles shall follow one another, and not even understand what what they are doing is they fly in perfect formation, not one wing overlapping another wing. All will circle the same prey, the unholy vultures, and will discern who is an anointed holy eagle and who is an unholy vulture. The baby eagles who cannot fly alone will have to be carried on the wings of the more spiritually mature anointed holy eagles. I will speak more on this when you retain what I have already spoken here. One more thing, remember this and do not take this lightly. You must ask my blessings and protection from this moment on for every morsel of food you eat and every beverage you drink. Thank me for it. Get in the habit now, for there is coming a time when you will find it necessary to eat what you would rather not eat and drink what you would rather not drink, but all will be a blessing to your body. Yes, even that which I have forewarned you is unclean. My son used to his blood will make clean when it is necessary. Learn to be grateful in small things now, and take nothing I give you for granted. Even your fruit and vegetables have have not the nutrients I created in them. The water and air has polluted them, and the soil is depleted of minerals needed. You don't even know what a fruit or vegetable should taste like anymore. It is rare if you do. As for meats, again I say, you do not understand that which you have eaten, the unholy vultures are poisoned in so many ways. The water you drink, you don't even know why your body doesn't crave water the way I created it to thirst. It is because even the water is not the way I created it. That is why you must pray blessed on all you partake in my son Yeshua's name. Ask me to bless the food and beverages so it will be a blessing to your body and not a curse to it. Lastly, I tell you this, although all won't understand, but my anointed holy eagles must honor me on the true Shabbat. I will speak to them on this day if they will acknowledge me and worship me in a special way on this day. On this day, set your work aside and love and honor me even more than all the other days of the week. Let this be our time together. I am so jealous for your time. Even those who do my work, set this time aside for me. It is healthy for not only your mind, spirit, and soul, but also your body. Ask me what I want you to do that day, and include me for that is our day of rest together. Everyone has a different way of resting in me, but on the Shabbat, just include me. I am the Lord of the Sabbath, and don't forget it. I shall return on the Sabbath, not the one the unholy vultures decree either.
Now take these words and digest them as food for your mind, body, spirit, and soul. More will be forthcoming, but listen as I speak forth the words to my other anointed holy eagles, for no one anointed eagle has all the answers. You need one another, and never let me see an injured holy eagle be devoured by another holy eagle. Help one another to soar high in the sky and have faith. Psalm 91 is your secret nest where I dwell. So it is spoken, so it is written, given to one of my anointed holy eagles, Elizabeth Sherry Elijah.